Hey guys, it's Ash here with WatchMojo, and these are the top 20 most expensive Pokemon cards. Woo! The card that costs like a thousand bucks, I think. As For this list, we'll be looking at the most valuable collectibles from the Pokemon TCG. Although keep in mind that prices and rarity are consistently changing, but we've done our best to keep the prices relatively accurate. What's the rarest Pokemon card you own? Let us know in those comments below. Number 20, First Edition Blastoise. Blastoise, go! When the very first Pokemon cards were released in North America in 1999, one of the highlights was this so-called shellfish. Isn't it a turtle? Anyway, if you were lucky enough to pull this original starter back in the day, we pray you held onto it and kept it in a sleeve, because pristine First Edition Blastoise cards can fetch you $20,000 and up. And... In case you're wondering, first edition refers to the black stamp shown on the left of the Pokemon and indicates it was produced during the very first print run of these cards. Number 19, first edition Chansey. When you think of the most popular Pokemon from the first generation, mons like Charizard, Pikachu, and Mewtwo probably come to mind. Odds are Chansey isn't very high up. Rush this Pokemon to the critical care unit. Chansey. In fact, it probably doesn't even make the list in the first place. But that didn't stop its original card from exploding in popularity. Its presence in the original base set has earned it a killer reputation among collectors, and they've proven as much with their wallets. Even though the artwork has been reprinted a few times over the years, the original cards still fetch prices well into the thousands. Evidently, being Nurse Joy's assistant has its perks. Number 18, Torchic Gold Star. Well, this one's not so bad. I like it. That's that. I choose Torchic. In 2004, the TCG introduced slick colored variants of their most popular Pokemon in order to boost sagging card sales. To say it worked would be a massive understatement. Pokemon trading card game EX Team Rocket returns back with a vengeance. Just look at Torchic. The Hoenn starter is a beloved fire type, and its gold star form was a rare pull inside an already rare set. You can probably see where this is going. Based on its low distribution rates and sky high popularity, nabbing one for a few thousand dollars isn't out of the question. Although, if you want one in mint condition, you'll be lucky to pay anything less than 25k. If you aren't careful, this fire type can easily burn a hole straight through your wallet. Number 17, Delta Charizard Gold Star. Ever since his trading card debut, this Kanto classic has had a habit of racketing up prices, and his time in the Dragon Frontier set is no different. Journey Beyond, where powerful dragon Pokemon rule. There, Charizard and his new alternate colored look and dark typing flew all the way past $1,000 in value. And then he soared past 10 and then 20. He's been hovering over there for a few decades, but that trend is hard to miss. While 20k is hardly a small amount of money, if you think you'll ever want one, you may want to snag it now. After all, if there's one thing we know about Charizard cards, it's that they don't get cheaper with age. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, Whoa! <gasps> Number 16, Rayquaza Gold Star. This iconic card comes from the set EX Deoxys and is part of the coveted Gold Star line. The packs alone for this set go for over $300, and if you're willing to open them, you could potentially pull a Rayquaza worth over 10 grand. Interesting. <gasps> oh my god! In 2023, a PSA 10 graded version of this card sold for a whopping $48,000. If you don't manage to pull this powerful Sky Beast, though, you still have a chance at the Latios Latias Gold Star, which goes for over $1,500. Better than a kick in the teeth. This is like one of the creme de la cremes of 
Gold Star. This is the best Gold Star card you can pull. Number 15, Crystal Series. As if the TCG didn't have enough rare variants, the Aquapolis expansion introduced a whole new exclusive species, Crystal Pokemon. They were marketed as so-called secret cards, and that's evidence in the fact that only nine Pokemon got the new form. Crystal Charizard! Oh, no. Holy f Holy f You heard that right. There are less than 10 different Crystal Pokemon in the whole TCG. It turned already rare Pokemon like Ho-Oh and Charizard into bona fide gold mines. Since the Crystal series was retired at the end of the E-Card era, just finding one nowadays costs thousands. If you want all nine, you'll be writing a check with a whole lot of zeros. Number 14, University Promo Magikarp. If the TCG can turn this useless fish into a hot ticket collector's item, then anything is possible. Well, anything except finding a University Magikarp for a decent price. Just between you and me, this Magikarp is like a Pokemon gold mine. Nabbing one in its original release was hard enough. You had to live in Japan, pick up a specific magazine, and then fill out a notoriously difficult Pokemon trivia quiz. If you managed to do all that, you were sent this ultra-rare University Magikarp card. Allegedly, only 1,000 copies were ever made, and even fewer actually made it into circulation. If you don't know what this is, it's one of the rarest cards in the hobby. With all that, it's no surprise that an auction for one of these sold for $66,000. <laughs> Number 13, Shining Series. In the early mainline games, every wild Pokemon had about a 1 in 8,000 chance of being an off-colored, shiny version. So it's only natural that the trading card game introduced their own spin on the formula. Enter the Shining Series. What's your destiny? The only difference is that, instead of your time, finding a shiny card takes cold hard cash, and a lot of it. No matter if it's a Magikarp or a Mewtwo, the brand demands astronomical prices. It doesn't help that so few Pokemon have shining cards in the first place. Altogether, that adds up to a set that's pretty much worth its weight in gold. Number 12, First Edition Lugia. Ironically, this trading card is just as rare as the legendary Pokemon it depicts. <laughs> Although that shouldn't be too surprising considering the perfect storm of its release window. At the peak of Pokemania in the late 90s, Lugia starred as one of the new box art legendaries for the second generation, and that included a starring role in the beloved Pokemon the Movie 2000. As a result, this first edition card has remained an elusive collector's item for over 20 years. One. Lugia! <laughs> we got it! That's pushed its demand well into the thousands, and that's for a dinged up version. For a highly graded copy, you're looking at a price tag over 50 grand. All right, so let's see what he got. First pack. Oh, he got the Lugia! <laughs> Number 11, Master's Scroll Promo Card. One of the most expensive Pokemon cards on the market doesn't even have a Pokemon on it. Instead, it features the prestigious Master's Scroll which was only distributed to members of a Japanese fan club in 2010. Trainers had to participate in several activities and mini-games, and once they accumulated a whopping 8,600 points, they'd receive one of these speciality cards as a reward. Since the Master Scroll has never been officially released outside of this Japanese exclusive event, overseas buyers have amped up the price to staggering heights. Let's just say it's not out of the ordinary to see the Master's Scroll touch six figures in value. Number 10, Autographed First Edition No Rarity Symbol Venusaur. Kanto Starter, check. First Edition, check. We could go on, but you get the point. Funnily enough, this card doesn't actually have the traditional rarity symbol, and that only makes it even more special. 
Still, none of that is the reason Venusaur is so popular. The real money maker is the autograph from famed Pokemon illustrator Mitsuhiro Arita. There's supposedly only five of these signed Venusaur cards in existence, and that scarcity has led to some absurd prices. You can get a standard Venusaur card for a few grand, and the same goes for Arita's autograph. But if you want them together, you may want to pull out your piggy bank. Number 9. Master Key Prize Card While all the cards we've seen so far are incredibly pricey, at least they're somewhat in circulation. The same cannot be said for Pokemon Tournament Prize Cards. These cards are handed out exclusively to tournament finalists and winners of international Pokemon events, meaning you can't just pull one out of a pack. And Hunter Butler! is your 2020 Dallas Regional Champion here. The first of these is the Master's Key Prize Card. There are approximately only 30 of these cards in existence, as they were handed out solely to competitors in 2010 Pokemon World Championships. If you're fortunate enough to get your hands on one, it could fetch you upwards of 20 large. <laughs> number 8. Number 1 Trainer most of us never bothered to learn the actual game from which the Pokemon trading card game gets its name. But if you did, and got insanely good at it, you might have a shot at getting a number one trainer prize card. Pikachu, use Thunderbolt! Tournament champions in 1997 received this secret super battle print featuring holographic Mewtwo, but it's unlikely any of these recipients thought the card would someday be worth $90,000. In July of 2020, Heritage Auctions sold one in PSA 10 condition for nearly six figures. If you are one of only a handful of people in the world to own one, it is without a doubt the centerpiece of any collection. Number 7. Umbreon Gold Star Promo there's no hope of pulling this Umbreon from a random pack. At least not the rare version. Instead, the only legitimate way to get your hands on this promo evolution was to accumulate points through Japanese-only TCG events. Since the release window was extremely tight too, not many of these Umbreon cards saw the light of day. While the English language versions are comparatively cheaper, the original Japanese promo cards can, and have, sold for as much as $70,000. Mind you, that's after a few re-releases. Before more Umbreons entered circulation, we can only imagine how much they went for. Whole bunch of random crap. Boom. Mint 9 Gold Star Play Promo Umbreon. Big dog right here. Number 6. First Edition Charizard Forget Wall Street, put your money into Charizards. Back when the base set was first released, this fiery dragon was the best pull you could get, and it still is today. In fact, there are too many extremely expensive Charizard cards to name, including some we already mentioned like Shining and Crystal Charizard, others like Rainbow Charizard, Shiny Charizard GX, you get the idea. At the very top, however, is the Holy Grail, the first edition base set Shadowless Charizard, which had a ballpark price of 50000 the card itself is considered the crown jewel of the Pokemon world. That is before rapper Logic set a new record with his winning bid of $226,000 in 2020. Two cards left. Oh! We got a Charizard! Since that big boom, however, the price has dipped back down, but it's still the holy grail of Charizards. Even the non-first edition Shadowless Charizard is easily still a five-figure card in the right grade. Number 5. Magic the Gathering First Edition Blastoise before the official English release of the Pokemon TCG, publisher Wizards of the Coast made several test cards using their old stock. The result? A first edition Blastoise printed on a Magic the Gathering card. Twenty years later, one of them resurfaced, and collectors got to work. Getting a first edition Blastoise on its own will already cost you around 20k. But if you want this insanely rare test card, you need to tack on an extra zero. That is no exaggeration, the card sold for a whopping 
$216,000 in 2021. And nowadays, that price would probably have a 3 in front of it if another one even exists. Number 4. Ishihara GX Pokemon GX is a variant of trading card that was introduced in the Sun and Moon era with much higher HP Pokemon. You won't find it in a pack, but this unique GX card was presented to a select group of people at a private birthday celebration in 2018 for Sunekazu Ishihara, the CEO of Pokemon International. It is unlike any card in existence, depicting the Pokeboss himself reaching for a Master Ball and featuring a special congratulations attack to commemorate his 60th birthday. At auction, this card has sold recently for an unbelievable 247,000. Number 3. Kangaskhan Family Event Trophy a baby Kangaskhan! It looks like it's injured. Be warned, we are now entering the six-figure territory. First up, the Kangaskhan Family Event Trophy Card, a prize for participants in the Parent-Child Mega Battle Tournament in 1998. This magnificent-looking card features Papa Kangas and his baby, an appropriate prize for a family-themed event. Like the Master Key and Ishihara GX, Trophy Kangaskhan is in the Holy Grail category of collectibles, and there are under 50 of them in existence worldwide. Only 11 exist in PSA 10 condition, one of which sold on eBay in October 2020. The current price? A cool $150,000. Time to start building those tournament decks. Number 2. Trophy Pikachu the next card on our list is the trophy card to end all trophy cards. Presented to winners in the very first Pokemon TCG tournament in 1997, the trophy Pikachu exists in first, second, and third place forms, but all three are remarkably valuable. In 2019, a third place iteration sold for 100k. After the hobby exploded in fall of 2020, however, you can bet this card is soaring in value. At the time of this video, it is listed on eBay for 1 million. It is a card so unique and unattainable that fake, aka proxy versions of it, have sold for over $3,000. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Pikachu Illustrator Historically, prize cards didn't just go to winners of card game tournaments. In 1997, Pokemon hosted the Koro Koro Comic Illustration Contest, and winners of this event went home with the now mythical Pikachu Illustrator card. A total of 39 of these are known to exist in the world, and to give you an indication of their value, a graded version of one sold for $50,000 in 2013. Since then, you can bet the price has been climbing. An October 2019 auction saw this piece of Pokemon history go for an astounding $195,000. Off-the-grid sales of this card are even more unbelievable, though, as Logan Paul purchased a Gem Mint 10 copy for a reported $5 million. Whether or not it's worth $5 million, we'll let you decide. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.